Okay, so here's what's going on. This is not draining at all. I've snaked it three times. Runs across. Looky what we got. Double fixture fitting. There's a unit next to this. That is actually, that's another shower drain. That one's draining fine. But this one, no good. So, as you can see, the vent, that's the vent right there. And behind that, that's the kitchen drain. So instead of tearing open a bunch of walls, I mean, this would be a major job to try to access that vent for that double fixture fitting. And there's literally zero space to cut that down here. So I'm gonna cut this out. <clears throat> And then we're going to run the trap to this right here. And I'm going to put an air admittance valve on it. And um, this building is an absolute crap shell. And the owners don't want to spend any money, so this is going to be the cheapest possible solution here. So, um... I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. Alright, that took exactly 50 minutes. That was coming out of the floor all crooked, but... I was able to get it. So, trap. We got a Y. It's hard to see from. But you got a Y right here. No hub band. And then that's the, that ties into the main sewer. And then you have a uh, air admittance valve. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, and we got water running, no leaks. So it was venting right through here. But this is freaking clogged like none other. I pulled so much gunk out of it that I wouldn't be surprised if that, if, if the air in this is just completely choked off. So I probably didn't need an AAV, but it doesn't hurt to install one. They're five bucks, you know? Oh, my light's going out. So then I capped off. That's the old shower drain. Uh, I capped that off. Gym cap, inch and a half. And uh, no leaks. Okay, so here's what's going on, folks, with the AAV. This is a quintessential example of service plumbing and dealing with people who don't want to pay a lot and don't care if things are done up to code. And no, this, of course, is not going to be inspected. So, number one, the location of the AAV. I am full aware that where I put the AAV in this video uh, is essentially wet venting the shower that I just redid in the video. Now, I could have put the AAV on the trap arm of the shower, right after the trap weir. But I put it in the location that I, want, uh, that I put it because I wanted to make sure that the shower next door that is still fixed to the back-to-back -back double fixture fitting wanted to make sure that's getting enough air as well because that double fixture fitting is so corroded. When I cut it, there was so much crap in there I pulled out that I decided, okay, since this isn't going to be inspected, I'm going to, I'm going to wet vent the shower just to make sure that the unit next door, that that shower has enough air. On top of that, if you go downstream, 
of the Y that I just tied in right there, you have a vanity drain, which is vented, and then the stack is right there. And that's obviously vented, right? So this shower drain is getting plenty of air. It's just being wet vented. And quite frankly, I probably didn't even need that AAV to begin with, and everything would have drained fine. But I'm just wanting to make sure everything's getting enough air and uh, no trap seals are sucked dry. And then lastly, I am well aware that that, that that gym cap on that line that I cut and capped, that if I went next door and tried to snake it, the snake would jump right across that stupid double, the back-to-back -back double fixture fitting and pop out the end of that gym cap. And then you would think it was draining. You would think you got the clog, but it was actually just draining out of that gym cap into the crawl space. But <laughs> this building is a crap show. The landlords are cheapskates. Um, two of the bathrooms on that side of the building, the tile work was really crappy and it's leaking. Every time people take a shower, it's just leaking through the floor. <laughs> and I don't know when they're going to fix that. So um, what we did here is it's going to work and it's going to be fine. And I'm the only one that does the plumbing at this building. So while these landlords own this building, I'm the one working on it, right? So they don't have anything to worry about. Now, in the future, when a new, if, if they sell it, you know, the new buyer will have issues, but a new buyer should get a, uh, an inspection, a home inspection, and the inspector will notate these things so they know what's going on, so they know what to do and what not to do, right? So, so that's where we're at with this. And uh, yeah, that's all.